What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee discussion video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Treehouse that happened directly after the Super Smash Brothers Direct. Now with this Nintendo Treehouse, they played Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. And we actually learned a lot of new info, also a lot of new footage. I was going to do a everything new segment with everything that we learned about the Treehouse, but I figure it just died into the main keep talking points because we're getting to the point where where they're going to show us a lot of stuff new because there's a lot of stuff that we haven't seen and the games come out in a week to be honest so there is going to be a lot of people's going to get review copies that are going to be posted you know first 10 minutes of gameplay and stuff like that so i'm pretty sure there's going to be tons of new footage everywhere and it's going to be hard for me to actually keep up but once the game are released i'm going to get my hands on it and i'm going to play through it give a review also have a content like that right out but in today's video we're going to be going over the treehouse and everything that we kind of learn new summarized by serebi.net i'm going to have a link in the description below but also give my thoughts and opinions about everything so let's just jump right into it so during the treehouse live segment there were two new moves for ev that has been revealed and i believe and correct me if i'm wrong those moves are glissy glow and baddie bad which are again on this trend of terrible names for these EVs. EV and Pikachu moves so that is no surprise what is kind of cool is that in game there's going to be move tutors confirmed by this Nintendo treehouse which is a cool thing move tutors if you don't know weren't around in the original Pokemon game so this is something new that they're adding and at this point it's unclear if move tutors are going to be for all Pokemon are we going to be able to get move tutors for any Pokemon or is this going to be specific to these buddy Pokemon Pikachu an Eevee. So this is cool. Again, if you do not choose one of these moves or delete or make Pikachu and Eevee forget one of these moves, you can head over to this move tutor to reteach one of these specific moves, which is pretty cool. Another new feature that I see a lot of people talking about, it's kind of a big deal. The fact that there's going to be a fortune teller inside of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. You talk to this fortune teller and it's going to determine the nature of the Pokemon you encounter. So you pick a nature that you want to be increased for all wild Pokemon in the wild and that will last for the rest of the day. So for example, if you pick lonely nature, you go out in the wild, all the Pokemon for 24 hours is going to have that specific nature that you have chosen, which is a big deal. It's pretty cool that we're able to do that if you're thinking competitively and it's kind of weird to think competitively with the Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee games. I know there haven't been ideal quote unquote for the community thinking competitive wise but this is a big deal especially if you think about if we're going to be able to move these pokemon over to the next generation games this is going to give us a way in these let's go pikachu and let's go eevee games to determine a nature of a pokemon and you know potentially grow their stats and bring them over to future games which i think is the biggest takeaway from this i know a lot of people do not consider let's go pikachu let's go eevee competitive games they're like oh you know we don't have abilities we don't have hold items those stuff weren't in the original Pokemon Yellow game, so I'm kind of okay with them not appearing here. But it is cool that we are able to determine them, like I said, and have the correct nature that we want for this adventure and for adventures in the future. Like, what's that example? They show Vulpix. Like, if you wanted that Vulpix with a specific nature, you want to grow it up to nine tails, you want to use it for competitive battle for a specific reason, whatever. This is going to help ease that for future games, which I think is cool. I would hope they also bring this feature over to the future games as well. So we won't be limited to, again, the 151 to be, to have this feature with. Now, I know if we did have Pokemon abilities like Abra, we'd be able to synchronize and stuff like that. But we don't in these games. So this is a way to kind of alleviate that and kind of help us be able to determine the nature of our Pokemon. Now, the ID Judge feature is returning to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. They compare it to 
the Pokemon Go judge feature where you basically get like the stats of the Pokemon in Pokemon Go. I forget how it works. It's like the appraisal system, but it kind of works in the same vein, but it's definitely the IV judge system that we know that's been in Pokemon for a while. We weren't sure if it was going to be in the Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee games. And it has been, I believe, in your Pokedex now. And which was weird because it wasn't in the Pokedex. I don't believe that's how you did it in the Pokemon Sun and Moon games. I believe you had to beat the game completely, go to the battle tree, talk to this guy after hatching a whole bunch of eggs and stuff like that. And then you got the judge feature. So you're not going to be having the judge feature from the beginning of the game, but the judge feature is in the Pokemon stat screen. It requires a way you have to unlock it. Now let's jump over to another topic and that is Meltan Melmetal in this mystery box and how exactly we're going to get a mystery box into Pokemon Go. Now you get a mystery box that's, that's going to contain Meltan. Now in order to get the mystery box, you have to transfer a Pokemon from Pokemon Go into your Let's Go games, but you are only allowed to get one box per week. So you can't just keep spamming trades and keep getting your mystery box within your Pokemon Go. Now do mind you i think there's gonna be ways people are gonna probably cheat the system with changing their time and date on the nintendo switch system and then trading it over i don't know if the time and date is gonna sync with pokemon go as well i will try it once the game is released and see how much mystery box i can get in a short period of time by just changing the time and date settings on my nintendo switch system but i'm unsure of that on how it's gonna work because again you have to connect to a phone to your pokemon go and you know your phone's gonna be connected to the internet i don't know if you're gonna have to have your wi-fi on during this trade to your phone I don't, i'm unsure on how it's gonna work so i'm not gonna jump out the window and say there's gonna be a way to loop around it yet but i will try it once the games are released and i do get my pokemon go and let's go sync to where i could trade back and forth easily now i'm going to have the link to this nintendo treehouse in the description below if you want to check it out i was going to do a live reaction to it but there's a lot of talking in this treehouse it's 40 minutes and i didn't want to just be you know 40 minutes of me watching and reacting to stuff that was going on even though i did record it but it was it's unentertaining and i thought i would just do a discussion video with you guys with me just going over the biggest talking points of this nintendo treehouse event so let let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on move tutors being confirmed for the game even though it's technically not confirmed for all pokemon let me know your thoughts on being able to determine the nature of a pokemon before you catch it for 24 hours which i think is a cool feature especially because we don't have abilities like synchronize to be able to determine a pokemon's nature also let me know your thoughts on the iv judge feature that's making a return to the games also this mystery box window where you can only get it once per week let me know your thoughts on that and do you think this is going to make it tougher because it actually is going to make it tougher in order to get mel metal meltan you can catch a whole bunch of them bring them into the pokemon let's go pikachu and let's go eevee game but if you want to evolve meltan into mel metal you have to do that via pokemon go and to do it in pokemon go you need 400 meltan candy so that's going to make getting mel metal a few weeks process especially with depending on how much we can actually milk out of one mystery box it's undetermined yet on how that's gonna work and how much mel metal is gonna actually pour out of this thing but hopefully it's a lot hopefully we don't have to wait a month to actually get mel metal in our game even though i'm gonna be probably one of those people that will take a long time because let's be honest like you have to wait a week and then get 30 minutes of your time to walk around and i'm assuming it's gonna be real dedication to actually pop a mel metal into your game because you do need that 400 candy but let me know your thoughts on that as well in the comment section below peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next pokemon let's go pikachu and let's go eevee discussion video like always guys i'm daddy i'm fred on instagram and twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there i'm the american gamer in switzerland right here on youtube and yes i'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one so if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one